Hi guys and welcome back. Again, no pretty intro because that nose is still looking pretty gross, but that's okay. We're going to install the snaps onto our tidy travel totes. So there are a lot of snaps, but that's okay. We're going to take it one step at a time, so let's get into it. So the first snaps that I would like you to install are on your handle. Now there are four snaps going onto the handle, so I've installed two, and what you need to do is measure one centimeter from the end and then 4.5 centimeters from the end and then you just want to line it up roughly in the center you want to use an owl to push a hole into the fabric first and then that just makes it easier to push your caps through so you're going to put a stud on each end and then a socket on each of the inner points and so once you've installed four snaps onto your handle, then your handle is done. So the next snaps that we want to install are on our interior C pocket. So you want to measure in one centimetre up and one centimetre in on the corner and you want to install studs. So you want to put one there and one there. Then you want to install the ones on the top of your pocket. So choose the spot where you'd like them to be on your pocket lip by folding your pocket lip over and going, I'd like it about there. Install that snap and then install the other snap. Once you've done that, you can place it over your the rest of your pocket again, so fold it over and using a washable marker or a piece of chalk you can mark where that snap is going to sit and then you can use that mark to install this one and this one you can see just here there's my mark and there's my hole where I've put the owl through already ready for my snaps so you can do that or you can poke your owl through and then you can poke your owl through there and then mark the spot which is what I've done for this side so doesn't matter which you install here I've done a socket and a stud and that works well for me but as long as you put the opposites then that's going to work that's fine now on to the main body of your travel tote you want to install three snaps on each side here in the center so you want to measure in to get those I will check those measurements in just a second so to measure in there there and there these two here are to attach the handle and this one here is to attach your pocket now normally your pocket will sit this way and you've got one snap there that attaches and one snap there that attaches so that's going to attach your pocket to the inside of your travel tote these other two are going to attach your handle so you're going to be able to clip your handle in just like that and then that snap might need to be pushed in a little bit tighter but that's okay once you've snapped those in you've got your handle there and then the good thing about the way that the snaps on the handle have been installed is that you can leave two sorry you can leave those two attached there and you will be able to bend over the other two like that or you can attach this one there like that and then you can attach this end here like this once you've installed all of your snaps and that just gives you like a little little carry handle there instead of having to have this handle or you can have this handle but it doesn't matter once you've installed all the snaps you've got the choices so you can attach it to your trolley or your pram or your backpack whatever you're carrying all right so the next snaps that we want to install we want to measure here. We want to measure in 1.5 centimeters and three centimeters. And you want to install those two snaps there. So you want to make those ones studs. And then to find the position of the next snaps, you want to fold your clutch in half like this. And you want to fold this over this way. Now, to then find the position of your snaps, you just want to lift this up and mark there where that snap goes. You can see I've already installed my snaps 
that doesn't line up very well. And there is a reason for that. If you've folded your clutch tightly in half and done it, it's not going to work because you want to be able to put your wipes in here, you want to put some nappies and a change of clothes in here. So we want to fold it loosely in half. So we fold that and then we just bring this, slide it back just a little bit until we think that there is enough space in there. And you can even put some things in there and see just how much space you are going to fill before you put your snaps in. Um, but I just make it nice and loose like that. So placing this over where you want it to be, mark the first one and then just measure two centimeters back to mark the second one. Now to install those snaps, you're going to have to undo your zipper and put your caps inside your zipper slot. And then just put your sockets over there and install those just like that. So that's all of the snaps that you need to install on your travel tote. So there are, that is not quite just over half of them. So I still need to install one, two, three up here, another two here, and another one, two, three over here. And then we'll be done. So I'm just going to go install those now and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I have installed all the snaps. The tidy travel tote is complete. So you can see there the handles snapped on in the normal way. But you can also unsnap that. Unsnap that one. Wrap it around something and snap that back up. And then you've got that little handle there like that. And that holds that quite well. We open it up, we've got our wipes in the wipes case, a little pocket here that you can put some creams and things in, and then the zipper section over here that if we open it up, you can put a nappy and a change of clothes and things like that in there. Okay, so that part of our sew along is all done. Now we're going to make a matching change mat to go into the back pocket here. Okay, so the change mat at the back of the pattern is just a really simple, basic thing that's going to fold up and fit into that back B pocket of your tidy travel tote. So you just want two pieces of fabric that are 42 centimeters by 61 centimeters. And we're just going to place them right sides together. And then once we've done that, we're going to sew around the entire perimeter, leaving about a five centimeter gap for turning it out the right way. All right, so once you've sewn around the two pieces of fabric, you want to snip off your corners and then you want to use this turning gap that you've left to turn your change mat inside out. Once you've done that, you want to press the seam allowance around the turning gap so that it's nice and flush with the edges and then we want to top stitch. Okay, so once you have top stitched around the edge of your change mat, you are all done. So we've got our completed TTT and our completed change mat. Now this change mat does fold up and fit in the back of the pocket of the TTT quite nicely. So thank you everybody for joining me. It's been loads of fun. If you haven't already, I would love for you to join the Floss Style Fair group. I will post the link to that in the comments. And once you've joined the group, if you've joined in on the sew along and you've finished your TTT, I'd really love to see a photo of your finished TTT up on the group and if you find the album and share a photo in the album there's a heap of awesome prizes for everybody who uploads their photos to the album before next Sunday so you've still got a whole extra week to get your TTT finished but once you have it would be really great if you could share those photos and then you'll go into the draw to win some awesome prizes so thanks everybody and I hope you've enjoyed it uh, once you've joined the group too, you can let me know what pattern you'd like me to do for the next sew along. Thank you. Bye-bye.